Welcome back to Rob Daily TV. I'm of course Rob, and to, I'm of course Rob, and we're back on a bit of Married with Children today. Best of Al Bundy. How was your day? Clip locked. I need something I'd be comfortable in. I said, try Wyoming. <laughs> now, I don't know when they started letting women carry chainsaws. <laughs> you know that new aerobic center up above me? The one with the sign, quarter ton discount? <laughs> well, today they played Van Halen's jump. <laughs> <laughs> and damned if the whole herd didn't. <laughs> It was awful. The ceiling opened up, down they came, blocking out the sun. I experienced cellulite winter. <laughs> God, the humongity. A fat woman, Godzilla's into the shoe store today. Godzilla. Asked something she could wear to walk in the woods. Jokingly, oh. I suggest she wear a sign that says, Don't shoot from the front, I look human. <laughs> a middle aged woman comes into the shoe store. She's wearing a blossom hat. <laughs> You know, the I'm just a cute young girl of 45 look. Mm. Hey, she's looking for something cool to wear to I a Crosby, know that Stills, and Nash reunion oh, concert. <laughs> so I suggest a nice recyclable paper bag to put over her face. You know, Excellent so advice. The planet two ways. So she maces me. <laughs> but as I lash out blindly, I think I clipped her a good one in the teeth. <laughs> So from now on, it looks like she'll be gumming the words to teach your children. <laughs> How was your day, pumpkin? A customer comes in the store today. Tall, willowy brunette. Sits down. Says she'd like to try on a pair of size 12 pumps. So I'm down there, you know, just doing my job. And <laughs> Notice she's wearing a garter belt like I like. <laughs> oh. Got his work nice pair of silk stockings. Yeah. yeah. All the time she's smiling at me. All of a sudden. Why do I get the feeling this is going to go south in a like minute? A basic instinct. Pretty really. You saw it all. Yes. <laughs> it was a guy. <laughs> oh, Peg, it was horrible. It's got me in the first half. Of shoe selling mayhem. Last thing I remember, I was down on one knee, waiting on an overflowing glacier of a woman. <laughs> First thing you te they teach you when you're a rookie shoe salesman is when you got a fat one in the chair, never look up. <laughs> I looked up, Peg. I saw her underwear. Oh, it said Saturday. <laughs> Oh, nasty woman. Nasty, I nasty woman. I knew I was insane. Time to on the way. A customer comes into the diner and he asks for the Norwegian salmon. Then he wants to know if it's fresh. I said, hey, chucklehead, this is Chicago. This is not Norwegia, okay? <laughs> nothing is fresh. Well, I shouldn't say nothing. <laughs> I hate Christmas. <laughs> All is full of nothing but women and children. All you hear is, I want this, get me this, I have to have this. And there's the children. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all by my store, because they stuck the mall Santa right outside, ringing his stupid bell. As if you need a bell to notice a 300-pound alcoholic in a red suit. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Ooh, all day long. So nice as can be, I go outside, ask him to shut the hell up. <laughs> He takes a swing at me. So I lay a hook into his fat belly and he goes down. Beard comes off, all the kids start crying, and I'm the bad guy. <laughs> comes in, and she is so fat. I mean, that was self defense. Smaller women orbiting around her. Something to hit him first. So. so I'm trying to force a pair of size 13 shoes on her Jurassic feet. <laughs> When she says to me that her husband just left her. Ah, the plot thins. <laughs> so then this skinny woman with a hooked nose olive oils into the shoe store and says, I want something to make me look sexy. 
So I say you'll have to wait a long time before someone that ugly comes in to stand next to you. <laughs> you so rude to I don't know when they started letting women carry nunchucks. A fat woman hedgehogged her way into the shoe store today. I got to tell you about my day. I had to give a driving test to a woman who was so fat, they had to shoot her driver's license photo with the Hubble telescope. <laughs> Son, listen to me. I don't have time for one of your shaggy fat woman stories. Oh, like father, like son. Ask me how much I hate Halloween. More than that. Well, they make all us employees put on these costumes like some woman's gonna say, gee, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna buy any shoes today. But since I see you in a dinosaur costume, I will. Yeah, that's, course, he's got a point there. Work wouldn't have been so bad if the kids had actually got gas instead of painting the needle on the gauge full. <laughs> but then again, I don't mind pushing the Dodge through gang turf because I'm a mighty stegosaurus. By the way, did I mention how much I hate Halloween? Go away. Ah, home sweet hell. <laughs> home sweet hell. This woman comes in. And then she and you them all to sleep. She points at the shoes, I point at the door. She points at the sky and knees me in the nay nays. This woman comes to the gate today. Her moo moo covering what must have been three or four heinies. <laughs> now she could exit through a little itsy bitsy turnstile or a huge gate. Guess which one she chooses. They are a the line same. was forming. So I had to do something. She is the so same I as our time. Of butter from the Delta Burke Let's Get Big Exit. <laughs> and oiled her up. Then I went over to Star Trek land, hotwired the Enterprise, and sent it up where no man has gone. <laughs> she goes flying like a vegetable out of Dad's mouth. Right into the Facts of Life fan club pavilion. Thank God it's always empty. A woman comes in the shoe store today, so huge, she's protected by Greenpeace. This family... <laughs> Ask for a size four shoe. This family is the same, they're all the same. So, I ask her if she wants to eat them there or take them home. She has the nerve to complain about my performance. A fat woman sloshed into the shoe store today. Said she was retaining water. Oh, wow. I said not to worry about it. The dam of cellulite holding it back should keep us all high and dry for the next few years. Now, I don't know when they started letting women carry stun guns. Why am I early on what used to be my bowling night? Good question. Thank you for asking. Well, as I entered the bowling alley, ready for an exciting night of bonding brewskis and barfing, what did I see? Women bowling. Overhand. <laughs> So oh, I went up to one of these donut depositories and said in my nicest voice, wedge it out the door, beefalo, it's my night to pull. <laughs> well, instead of coming back at me verbally like I did to them, they took their doughy fist and they pounded on me until a mutual agreement was reached that I leave. <laughs> anyway, when I regained consciousness in a burning trash can, I realized, A, Thursday nights is now ladies' night, and B, you don't want to know how a bum puts out a trash can fire. <laughs> <laughs> that woman creatured her way into the shoe store today. Uh, Guess what happened today at the shoe store? Did a fat woman come in? <laughs> Enormous. <laughs> he's just miserable, isn't he? Like, he's just so miserable and so bitter with his job that he just takes so much pleasure in Enormous. Because he comes home and just bitches about these fat... Fat customers, these fat women, at work. But honestly, I think that family is all as bad as each other, you know. Bud comes home and starts talking about the woman whose driving license required the Hubble telescope or something. And then Kelly come home talking about some fat woman at a turnstile. Oh, my days. <laughs> They're as bad as each other. They're all the same, this family. 
I think it's just them and then the mum who has to listen to it all. But to be fair, she's a bit of a nightmare herself. <laughs> but anyway, that's what sitcom families are. They're all nightmares. So let me know what you thought of this compilation and I'll see you in my next upload.